Well, good morning guys. It's your friendly neighborhood sunshine squirrel. Welcome to the channel. Today is a very exciting day. We checked into Saratoga Springs last night. We actually arrived at the resort around 1.30 a.m. We got a little bit held up due to storms in Orlando flying in, so our flight was really delayed, but we're so happy to be here. And today we are headed to Magic Kingdom to do an annual pass holder preview for Tron Light Cycle. So come on, let's head over to Magic Kingdom. So we just headed out of our room. We are currently walking to the bus stop. Um, like I said, we're, our building is right here. So we're at the very end of Carousel and we need to go to the opposite end of Carousel to catch the bus stop. If you're staying in this section, your bus stop is actually going to be shared with the furthest section of the paddock. Um, so within Saratoga Springs, you have the Carousel, you have Congress Park, you have the springs, you have the paddock, you have the grandstands, and you have the treehouse villas. Now, the treehouse villas have their own bus system, um, but if you're staying at the other five buildings, you will need to use the bus system. They have an internal bus system that will take you um, to the main lobby, uh, the carriage house, and then they have, uh, to get to the different resorts, the bus stop will be at each of the building or the sections. And here's the carousel. And it's a little picnic area. This is very, very nice and peaceful over here. Love this. And then, like I said, right over there, guys, is the golf course. All right, guys, so we just got to Magic Kingdom. It took about a half an hour um, to go throughout all of the different bus stops. So we stayed at the carousel. And so for the carousel, that's the second stop on the bus route. By the time we made it to the Springs, um, there was pretty much no seats left on the bus. And then we had two ECVs. And so by that time, the bus was literally packed like a starting can. So word to the wise, if you're staying at Saratoga Springs, you really want to be in the first or second stop if you want to make sure that you have a seat on the bus. Um, and then you do want to budget time accordingly because it did take a half an hour to get to Magic Kingdom. The other option, if you have a car, you could drive to Ticket and Transportation Center and then take the monorail or the ferry boat to Magic Kingdom. But I'm not sure if by that time it would still be a half an hour or maybe even a little bit longer. We are officially inside of Magic Kingdom. We had to activate our new annual passes for this year. We actually downgraded from the Incredible Pass to the Sorcerer Pass. Um, when you downgrade from that pass, the only difference is that you can't go into uh, the park during Christmas week or Thanksgiving week, and we're not planning on doing that this year. So we figured why pay the extra $250 to do that. And I always have to get a Magic Kingdom guide map. These are actually, I collect these and I think it's a really nice souvenir to have and it's free so you don't even have to pay. And a fun fact for you, all of the American flags on Main Street are not legitimate American flags. And the reason Disney does that is because if you do choose to fly an American flag, there are specific rules and regulations you have to follow, like when you take the flags down, and then of course it has to be uh, lighted, lighted at nighttime. Um, they do have the main American flag that's in the center, um, but all the other ones that you see on top of the buildings are not legitimate. So we just got in line for Seven Dwarfs My Train. Current wait time is an hour, and it is currently 9.25. So we'll see. Sometimes the posted wait times are actually a lot longer than what actually is the wait. This doesn't really look like a 60 minute wait to me, but we'll keep you posted. They use a different type of battery.
So we just finished with Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Current time is 10.38. So when we got in line, it was 60 minutes, 10.25, so about an hour and 10 minutes. Current wait time is an hour and 20. So not bad for a Saturday morning first thing, but it's part of the reason why we wanted to hit this ride first. All right, guys, so we are now headed into Tomorrowland. It is time for our annual pass preview ride of Tron. Super excited for this. Um, right now they have annual pass previews during the day and at nighttime, so we were able to get this morning at 11 o'clock. So let's go head out and check it out. Star Traders. They have lots of new kind of retro for back merch. They have this jersey. That is really cute. And they also have this button up and the classic logo. The baseball cap is super cute. I love Minnie Mouse. But they still have the winter hats. I saw that. Little Minnie Mouse party, and that's really cute. And the backpack. And then they have these new ears, and they're like super soft, and they have these textures. They kind of remind me of those um, old bead things where you put the beads in the mold, and then you would um, use an iron. And they have them in the traditional mini ears as well.
that they do have a little bit of a sample here of what it looks like. So as you can see, when you pull down on the handlebars, it comes down on your back and your feet stay at the bottom part. So you are really tight um, kind of in there. So just be aware of that. If you don't like that kind of constricting feeling, um, you're definitely gonna get that on this ride. Um, this is also nice that they have this set up here. So if you do wanna test it out and see if you feel comfortable or if you feel like you fit comfortably in, this is a way for you to do that as well. Or as people are using it right now for it, absolutely a nice little photo um, op as well. to be 48 inches in order to ride this ride so keep that in mind for the little ones out there it's always a shame for them to get in line for something and then find out that they can't ride it later on users, you are about to be digitized into the world of Tron. For your safety in this world, all users should be in good health. You should be free from high blood pressure, heart, back, or neck problems. You should be free from motion sickness or other conditions that could be aggravated by this experience. Expect that users should not ride. Light Cycle Run is a thrilling, high-speed roller coaster type ride in the dark. Users be warned. The Light Cycle Run makes sharp turns with sudden drops and stops. For your safety, remain seated on your light cycle at all times. Keep restraints securely fastened. Supervise young team blue users at all times. Including backpacks, purses, and hats. 
in the locker portal before entering the grid. Lockers are just ahead. To open a locker portal, tap your digital key to the illuminated activation point. Please be considerate of other users and only use locker space that your party requires. Remember your unit number. modified life cycle. When the gate opens, follow your path on the floor. If you are assigned the car vehicle, you must walk behind the light cycle. Remove phones, glasses, and other items that may fall off, and secure them in the storage area between the handlebar. Cleaning is our To synchronize with your light cycle, kneel, lean, and pull the handlebars towards you. Tron Light Cycle Run is a thrilling, high-speed roller coaster type ride in the Sunshine Squirrel from the future to give you a quick tip about the lockers for Tron. So when you're first entering Tron, you're going to see that there's just a wall of lockers. If they're illuminated, then that means that they are available. If they're dark, that means that they're already occupied. When you exit Tron, you are going to come on the other side of the lockers. And so the stuff that you put in first, or yeah, first into the locker is now gonna be at the front of the locker instead of the back of it. And so the way they have it up, it's almost like a two-way locker. So it's two sides to it. So when you exit Tron, if a locker is illuminated, it means that it is occupied and not available. So it was a little confusing for me when I was on Tron because I was like, I'm positive I put my stuff in this numbered locker, but the light is on. So it's making it seem like as if somebody, you know, took the stuff out. And then when I opened my locker and I saw that my stuff was like not in the order I put it in, I was like, what happened? So don't be like me, don't freak out. Just know that it's a two-sided locker. And when you come on the opposite side, once again, uh, when you first enter, if it's illuminated, it's available. When you exit, if it's illuminated, it means it is already occupied and has your stuff in it.
I'm still, it's gonna take me a while to decompress from that one. <laughs> it was so intense. It was absolutely amazing, incredible, but intense. Um, I, I would say, you know, I feel like this ride is definitely for the thrill seekers or the individuals that are in your party that are like, oh, Disney doesn't have intense rides. They do. They very well do. That's a barn, barn Oh, okay. And here we are. The exit is out of Storybook Circus. And there's Barnstorm. Something kind of fun to do guys, during a parade, you can actually go to the hub grass and there will be photo pass photographers that can take your picture and you can have parade floats in the background. So we are now on boat transportation from Magic Kingdom and we're going to head over to the Polynesian for our lunch reservation at Kona. Just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek, um, kind of an update on the construction at the Polynesian for the new Disney Vacation Club Tower that is coming. So far it looks like at least six stories tall. Chicken stir fry, it's served with grilled chicken breasts, wasabi noodles, carrots, and stir fry vegetables. And here is a shot of the dessert menu. You can mobile order from Kona, and then you pick up your order right here. This is Kona Cafe, they have coffees, and then specialty desserts. They have chocolate covered bacon and strawberries. Cups were also in the restaurant, the coconut tapioca, s'more dessert, key lime, tiramisu, and then no sugar added cheesecake. So just so you know, even if you don't eat at the actual corner, you can get the desserts here. Mickey's Van 
concert tickets. And it's only available to annual pass holders until April the 8th. Now Sarah has time for other things like, like canning uh, and cleaning the um, All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, we <laughs> Phew, boy, how does Fourth of July we've had in years? We've come a long way though since the turn of the Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> That's a role that really fits me. You know, I'm I... so glad we installed an electric light fixture here on the porch because it's just too darn hot to be sawing inside. Well, he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. Oh, and here's something else that's new. I just heard a new term today on the radio. Fella says, we've got something now called the rat race. Did you ever hear that one? It sure describes my life. I'm involved in something now called commuting. Didn't I set up that clever automatic paint stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you'd care. Oh, good old Sarah, always the last laugh. <laughs> what happened, Sarah? Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my rump. A rumpus, the room. <laughs> It's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow just a dream away. On to Winnie the Pooh now. We just have one lightning lane after another guys, we stacked them up so we're gonna go do small world now as well.
So here we have Splash Mountain guys all drained and currently undergoing construction. I wonder if they're gonna end up keeping the top of the briar patch up there or if they're also gonna change that as well. I feel like they're gonna keep it because it is kind of iconic, but we'll see. doing her bow. There she is guys, he's grown big. That's cute, Chippendale. And now on to Pirates. So we had a lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain, um, but unfortunately the ride is down and it's been down pretty much all day. So then they gave us a lightning lane to use for any experience. But what they don't tell you is that they're, um, what they don't tell you is that there are actually four attractions that are excluded on that anytime list. So you cannot use that pass for uh, Space Mountain, Jungle Cruise, um, you also cannot use it for Seven Dwarfs My Train, nor Peter Pan. Alright guys, so we are going to do a Little Mermaid now. We do have dinner reservations at the Grand Floridian Cafe at 6.30. Current time is 5.35, so we'll see. I'm, I'm really hoping <laughs> Big Thunder will come back. Um, so that we can ride it before we go to eat. Of course, you know, we could always come back into the park after we eat, but I'm starting to get a little tired. <laughs> My Disney endurance is uh, waning thin.
So they have a Minnie Mouse dome cake, ham provolone and swish sandwich, and a warm cinnamon roll and LaFleur's pie. So you can see Space Mountain from Gaston's Tavern. Look at that. So cool. So now it's time for us to head out and head on over to the Grand Floridian for our dinner at the Grand Floridian Cafe. chicken is served with smashed potatoes and grilled spinach and then it has a maple bacon glaze. This is the French onion soup. This is the turkey meat with grilled broccoli and smashed potatoes. And this is the impossible burger with fries stick. So we're now waiting for the boat to pick us up and take us back to Magic Kingdom so we can catch a bus to Saratoga Springs. So the bridge swings. So it's, is it going, it looks like it's going to the side. So this is really cool. So we're on the boat trying to get back to Magic Kingdom and Disney's Enchantment has started which is the fireworks show at 8.30 and the captain of the boat that we're on has literally just stopped <laughs> in um, Seven Seas Lagoon and he's just parked and he's just letting us watch the fireworks from the boat. So we're literally getting a fireworks cruise on the typical boat transportation. This is, this is awesome. <laughs>
seated, remain seated, and if you're standing, hold on to the handrail. Please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat until the captain gives you the all clear and go ashore. So I really wanted just to stay on the boat and just continue to watch the fireworks, but we're trying to catch our bus before the fireworks ends because we know it's going to be a mad rush of everyone exiting the park. And because our resort is so big, we want to make sure that we get to the bus stop before a long line forms. We have a butterfly. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this annual pass holder preview of Tron. Let me know in the comments below if you were in Tron and if you loved it, if you hated it, if you're unsure, if you're still recovering from it like me. <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a thumbs up to let us know and subscribe so that you will stay all up to date every time we post. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.